What up everyone? It's day 100. Just had a um, family member come around for a bit, so I'm only starting the vlog now. But then again, what can I really do? It's day 100. Probably going to be stuck inside all day, but on a good note, um, the the best of 100 video is going to be out today. So, um, it will go out an hour after this, so it's 7pm GMT. The best of 100 video will be out for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it and it makes up for probably a poor vlog for the next few days till I can get up and get doing stuff. But yeah, I've taken the bandage off my hand. Um, warning gore, I don't know. Do I have to say that? It's not that bad. But yeah, I've took the bandage off this hand. It's healed very, very well. It's really bruised around the wrist. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a bit better today. You know, the ear is still really hurting. Got no painkillers, but hey. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to start the day. I'm gonna sit down edit a bit more get a few videos done um, and that's gonna really be it for today but yeah I've been told I can't wash every day because of all the oils so that sucks but yeah um, so probably tomorrow or Monday I'll clean again you know Yim, uh, Yim helped me with my face and like my chest and stuff obviously I did the rest but yeah um, so huge thank you to Yim for helping me do that because I can't see the back of my head I've been told I probably won't be able to clean my hair hair until uh, I've had the stitches taken out because obviously it's got hairspray and stuff so you have to tug on it to get it out you know with water uh, and apparently that could split them open again so I'm got really horrible hair for a while um, but not really much I can do about that but yeah just just gonna relax today by the way I forgot to mention yesterday that um, a woman there was a woman who called the ambulance you know there was that kid who I uh, showed in the video who saved my life and he's the one who go, went and grabbed a, a lady to call the ambulance. Um, that lady also took my bike home, um, you know, for me. And, um, you know, such a kind person. I want to thank her very much. And what I'm going to do once I'm a bit better, I'm going to go get some chocolates and take them around to her house to say thank you. And I want to find out who the kid was. Um, all I know is his first name. And I'm going to I'm gonna go thank him as well. I'm going to get him something, you know, because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for that kid going and grabbing that woman, you never know what could have happened you know it was a hot day i was in direct sunlight i was completely out of it i could have bled a lot more um so i'm just very very thankful and i want to show my appreciation but anyway um let's get the rest of the best of 100 edited because i've got everything today there's going to be no footage to put in it because i'm not really doing anything today which sucks um but yeah at least i'm making up for the 100 with the 100 special um, but yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's just real inconvenient. Obviously finished the editing of the best of 100 video Oh man, I am so happy with the result. It looks awesome I hope the end like towards the end it doesn't get too sloppy because obviously I've just edited it now I'm a bit out of it at the moment. So <laughs> Yeah, um, but one good thing about Not being able to eat pretty solid foods at the moment because if you can't realize if you if you can't realize I can't English right now if you don't realize like this whole side of my face is bruised so it's really difficult to chew down and also if you chew obviously your ear moves a little bit and that muscles behind your ear so it really hurts as you can imagine so i've got to eat soft food or soup like as you can see over there there's loads of soup um so thank you mum and also another good thing because that's all i can have i need a lot of i need to get well not a lot i need to get sugar in somehow you know so i so i don't like over a sugar low because I need to keep my sugar levels high to keep the energy up because obviously I'm not eating proper full foods. So it means I get to drink fizzy pop and stuff, um, which is awesome because I miss drinking fizzy pop and this is kind of an excuse just to binge out on fizzy pop. Also drinking lots of water, don't worry. I'm still drinking like five liters of water a day. Um, believe me, I'm pissing a lot. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But yeah, um, what I'm also gonna do is eat some Jaffa Cakes because Jaffa Cakes are soft and they taste really nice. Well, I'm just going to sit here watch some videos. I literally have no plan for today. I'm sorry guys, I know it's day 100 and believe me, you guys know that I've been looking forward to this day for a while because I had it planned what I was going to do and all that and um, obviously none of that went to plan because I kind of messed up. But yeah, um, a lot of people are saying I didn't necessarily fuck up. It was more sort of like an innocent thing. Um, and I get what you're saying, believe me, I get what a lot of you're saying, but I just want to, I want to drive home the fact that I wasn't wearing a helmet, and that is the most stupid thing you can do. 
Um, sure, going for that ramp might not have been that stupid. A lot of people have said they would have done the same because it looked fun. Um, and they'd have probably fucked up as well. That's what a couple of people are saying. Even Yim said it. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't do stuff like that without a helmet. And that's what I really want to send home with this accident. And um, whether I was in the wrong or not, or whether it was a mistake or not, or whether it was innocent or not, the, th the thing that needs to stand is that I wasn't wearing a helmet. So... I, I really need to send that message home and that's why I even uploaded it because I wasn't even going to upload it guys it, Watching it back. You can probably imagine how difficult that was like hearing myself make that noise and just seeing that blood Just drip everywhere and then being in the in the in a hospital and shit like it wasn't Easy to watch never mind edit, you know But I, I decided to put it out there because I wanted to really send a message home of the damage You can do not wearing a helmet and and I, I know that I have fairly it's a mix but i have young audience and i have older audience and i think it's good to have a reminder every now and again of what can happen if you don't wear a helmet and that's why i decided to release it so whilst i may it may or may not have been innocent and all that sort of stuff and i appreciate you guys pointing that out making me feel better about my stupid mistake but i really want the focus to be on the fact that i wasn't wearing a helmet and that is stupid no matter what anyone says whilst they, they even said themselves like a regular you know road helmet the one that just goes around your head because of the damage, it would have took my ear off. I wouldn't have split my head open, but I'd have took my ear clean off with that kind of helmet. They said that. Um, they said, so, you know, we advise wearing a helmet, but right then you'd have lost your complete, like you'd have completely lost your ear. Um, but that's why when I get back into biking, because obviously I'm going to, at the end of the day, I can't let this stop me forever. I'm going to get a proper BMX helmet, you know, like a proper mountain biker's helmet that comes completely over your face with a shield and has a GoPro mount on the top of my head. Because at the end of the day, I can't let this fear, fear me out of doing anything with bikes because I've always enjoyed riding bikes. And you know what? I still have an urge to go out and do some awesome stuff on my bike, go on some really cool long adventures on my bike and maybe eventually be able to actually do some tricks. And, you know, you just got to start slow, be safe. Um, start on the small ramps, which is what I did at first, but not just jump to the freaking 30 foot ramps. <laughs> yeah, just be safe, be clever, don't do stupid stuff, and that's what I'm trying to get home with this whole scenario. And uh, for the next few days, there'll probably just be a lot of rambling like this, so please forgive me. Um, but I just don't know what else to do. I can't exactly go out for a run. Dream of chicken soup and YouTube. Good combination. Okay, just recorded an update video for the watch channel. Um, I'm going to get that edited now and get it uploaded for today. I'm probably just going to upload it right now, actually. Watching the table tennis um, for the Olympics. I love watching table tennis. I actually love playing table tennis. I used to. I think I'm going to have to get back playing it. But, yeah, we're going to watch that. I'm going to try and watch all of it. But very, very cool. That's what I'm going to probably do for the rest of the day. Just managed to eat my first bit of solid food in, like, the past three days. And it's a freaking microwave burger. How bad? How unhealthy, but how much do I love it? Very much. So that's good. It means I'm slowly getting back into things with solid food. It's obviously difficult and I have to really compress it down like before I put it in my mouth because I can't open my mouth that wide. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting for all the really rude people to stop putting shit, but hey. Um, but yeah, it's good to know I'm going to be back into eating solid food soon. Obviously, I'm still going to eat soup and just eat solid food every now and again because I don't want to rush my body back into it. But that's a good thing. And I'm still watching the tennis. Literally, I think I'm probably going to watch the whole of the tennis um, this year. I watched a lot of it last year, but not all of it. So I'm excited. So I just decided to do the unboxing of that watch in the end. I just can't. I can't stand it sitting here waiting. But here it is, the SKX009. Oh, it's beautiful. It's... Uh, it's the best looking watch I think I've ever owned. Um, and this is more of an investment, so I'm just really excited to own this. The, the video will be on the channel in probably next week, probably around Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, very, very happy about that. Now I need to clean up the mess I made unboxing, but it was so worth it. Gonna end vlog number 100 here. I'm not feeling too great right now. I'm in quite a bit of pain, so I'm just gonna hurry up, rush through the edit, get it done and just get into bed and relax. My ear is hurting quite a bit right now. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy I unboxed the watch and I'm really, really happy with it. And I hope you all enjoyed, um, obviously the vlog, probably not so much, but maybe the best of 100, which is out at 7 p.m. GMT. So keep an eye out for it. Um, I put a lot of work and effort into that. So I'd really appreciate it if you could check it out and just give me your honest opinion. But I'll see you all again in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace out. Bye bye. Thank you.